gentlemen, a little background. Um, you were contractors for the for the CIA, yes. right? Yes, sir. correct. And uh, what what was going on there? What was well, why were you in Benghazi? What what was what was happening? I'm. Um, I mean, everybody knows what happened. I mean, Gaddafi a year before, uh, in 2011, Gaddafi was ousted. Um, a new government was trying to take over. It was hectic. Uh, a lot of militias had formed, you know, to get rid of Gaddafi. And in the process, after the, the threat of that came about, I mean, they broke up into a bunch of little militias and they were all vying for control in Benghazi. You know, one had tried to control the airport, one trying to control the seaport, um, you know, and just kind of a chaotic uh, environment. It's a, a terrorist rich environment, so you're you going to be there. What was the CIA trying to achieve there? Uh, again, like a terrorist-rich environment. We're there to, you know, we're we're there to counter terrorism. And whenever there is a vacuum of power, like when a, a dictator is overthrown, the militias and the terrorists has come in to try to vie for power. So it, there's there's a lot of bad guys there that need to be taken out. So I mean, really, that's that's their main job is is what to do in those areas when when that happens. So your particular uh, group, um, Global Response Staff. So. Global, so is that what you guys do? You go and take out the terrorists, or you protect the we protect, company? No, we're, we're there, there to protect. Our whole yeah. job is to protect the case officers that work for the CIA, um, so they can do their job. I mean, you know, whatever that they're going to follow the rules that they got the, the orders that they're taking. Our orders are to make sure that they can do that. And, and if people that see the movie and see Secret Soldier of Benghazi, there there's a scene in there that shows what our job is, and it's it's excellently done. It's, it's so. Uh, when you go see the movie, not only are you going to see the battle, but you're going to see a backstory of, of what GRS is. So they'll get that in the movie, and 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 it, they'll be, oh, that's what these guys do. Now there was in the in the movie, there's a conflict between oh, yeah. the head of the CIA, uh, Chief Bob. Bob, Chief Base. Oh, he's Bob, my, yes, he's, he's Bob. my favorite guy. Me and him get along like this. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, is, was that kind of was that kind of friction common, or, or was this a, a it just depended on yeah. you know personalities, um, different places that you might be working at, uh, you know, and uh, their experiences and their personality and ours. I mean, you know, we're all Type A personalities, and uh, we like to get things done, um, and we're used to doing that, and we're used to thinking outside the box, and that's why they hire us because of that. And you know, it's sometimes we rub people wrong. Yeah, Tig had the most experience with Bob, so you want to talk about him personally? No, go ahead. All right, I can't answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> ditto. Or can I do ditto? Yeah, ditto. I mean, I got along with Bob, you know, for the most part. But, yeah. You know, I didn't, you know, personally, he was he was an all right guy, but as for the leader in the situation that night, he wasn't really the man for the job. Yeah. I, I, Were you at at that time? You were obviously very aware that nobody was coming to, to help you guys. Uh, but how was that a typical situation? With, with it so did, many it, bases it did depend on the on the country. Right, it, 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 Libya wasn't. We didn't have military assets there, so you know. So we knew that really all we had was each other to rely on. Now, because of ambassador was and and Stevens was no low level ambassador. This guy's a high level ambassador because he was missing and presumed probably dead or kidnapped. That was surprising that they didn't send support to at least help him and get him. And there are supporting units in the area. But as far as what we were concerned, and we, and you see the people see the movie, we turn it into a joke. Like, oh, yeah, I hope air support's coming, you know, rolling our eyes and sarcasm. Um, but it was surprising because of, of the level of ambassadorship that Stevens was and because he was missing for six hours that, that nobody showed up. Now, this thing has ended up, <clears throat> the whole story ended up being that has a whole political dimension oh, yeah. now. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, how do you feel about that? don't like it. I mean, that's really what kind of pushed us to even yeah. write the book, you know, because we're not public people. We never were before this. Um, and there was misconceptions. There was um, untruths being told, not necessarily always by politicians, but by other people out there trying to spin this story to make it for their own benefit. You know, um, just, you know, people uh, were putting out that the ambassador was uh, drugged through the streets, that he was raped, he was violated, and that didn't happen. I inspected you know, his body. And, and why are you going to go out there and say something that ain't true? And so the only way for us to really make sure that it wasn't or that it was corrected was to put it in a book. Because once it's in paper, you know, now it's that way forever. Um, people can read it and decide what they want. It angers, angers me a bit because I had to change my life. I had to quit. I had to resign to, to, to do this book. You I'm slept in English. I was awesome at my job. I was, this guy's 
are so jealous. <laughs> no, not really. 